as silly as it sounds, if I had to go back and look at one moment that made me think this is something special, it wasn't one of the big grand moments where, you know, Arthas stormed into Lordaeron and killed his father or anything like that. It was actually just the first time that I walked down the road in Elwyn in the game. Um, and I remember looking around, I walked into Goldshire and just thought, this is so beautiful and it feels so real and so fantastic. And I think it's a lot of the little understated moments and the coolness of the world that are really what um, sort of stick with me at, at, in terms of what makes Warcraft special. Probably my favorite moment in any Warcraft game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, selfish and pick World of Warcraft, it's some of the early moments in the raiding game when some of the early raiding guilds first were killing dragons like Onyxia and Nefarian, and they would all travel to either Stormwind or Orgrimmar to mount the dragon's head on, on the stick. And what, what I would do is I'd go and watch them in GM mode. We were watching a lot of these raiding guilds and following their progress and making sure everything was working okay and, and fun. And I remember going and watching entire servers form around these guilds and the excitement that everybody would have about you know this big epic moment that happened that was very focused on one guild, yet somehow it was uh, shared by everybody in the community. And I think we spent a lot of time creating a lot of big epic Warcraft moments for people. Um, obviously there was a scene at the Wrath Gate that, that's really memorable. But really, it was the moments that the players created that stand out for me more than anything, any moment that we could have created in the Warcraft universe. Uh, I believe it was at one of the first or second BlizzCons, and it was early in the morning. Well, game player early, it was 9.30 or 10. And I was riding up the escalators going to an interview with some magazine, probably Muscle Fitness or something like that. They, they like to keep tabs on me. And I'm riding up the escalator, I look down, and I just see thousands and thousands of people all just sitting there waiting to get in to the con. And I was like, oh my god, all these people are here. From across the world, different realms, all here to celebrate Blizzard games. And so I just got so swelled with company pride, I yelled, FOR THE HORDE! And everyone looks up, and thousands of people yell, FOR THE HORDE! And then there was a few hundred, boo, Alliance people. And then so the Horde started going, FOR THE HORDE! And the Alliance started going, FOR NOMRAGON! And they just started yelling back and forth until the, uh, the doors opened. And that's when I knew we were doing something right. And uh, that was a great moment in Blizzard history for me. Well, specifically in World of Warcraft, I was playing in Alterac Valley. We were at the Alliance base, and uh, right at the, at the bridge, there's two bunkers and the bridge. Well, we're storming across the bridge, and somehow, some little gnome mage worked his way around the gorge and dropped off on some little ledge. And so we're trying to run across the bridge, and he's blasting the heck out of everybody. It's like, all right. So I, uh, turn my mount and I charge off the bridge and as I'm falling I hit charge and start hurtling upwards through the air at the gnome hack chop slash execute and that was the end of that little guy but that was a pretty epic moment of riding jumping off a bridge on my brewfest ram and beating the hell out of a little gnome mage dress wearers. For me, the moment I realized that the Warcraft universe was something special was probably in early World of Warcraft Alpha, uh, first time actually when I logged my character in, and I rolled a warrior, it was an orc, it was during the, uh, the orc uh, alpha, um, and I realized that I had more than one button to press. That was a huge revelation for me. It was just like this incredible, like, really? Like, games can actually do this? Learning further down the line that I got even more abilities, it was just like, holy moly, how are they doing this? You know, how can we 
possibly be giving these abilities out, and so that was kind of a special moment. But I think my favorite moment's definitely in WoW. Um, probably a tie between seeing the Wrathgate actually come to life and happen in game the first time, and uh, and I guess they say you know the first time is always the best time. But uh, for me, the the uh, the In Dreams quest in uh, Eastern Plaguelands, um, it's the it's the end of the chain uh, that Tyrion Fordring gives. It's the first time you meet Tyrion Fordring, who's now a huge character in our universe. Um, and it's it's when you um, escort his son, Talon, out of Hearthglen. And it's that moment when Talon's coming down, and he's kicking butt down Hearthglen. He's killing everyone in his way to get to his father. And um, he's uh, interrupted as he's just leaving Hearthglen. Um, and a battle happens, and Talon's killed. And Tyrion rides down just as he's killed. And then the grieving father, you know, gets down on one knee and and um, plays a and, and says a says a line very reminiscent of of the Godfather, you know, look what they did to my boy, and then just proceeds to stomp the ground uh, of all the the bad guys, all the Crusaders. Um, that was a powerful moment for me. It was just it was like I said, one of my firsts and one of the first times I think where we really kind of took storytelling in our game to that next level. Um, it worked really well, so. Um, I'd have to say the first time I ever played Warcraft 1 uh, multiplayer. So multiplayer games were pretty pretty unknown at that time. They were pretty, uh, pretty new thing for people to play and experience. And being able to actually play against your friend using a null modem cable and educating yourself on, on how that technology worked and figuring out how to connect two computers together, that was an awesome experience. Um, my favorite experience in any Warcraft game is uh, actually in World of Warcraft. Um, it's probably the first time that the guild I was involved ever killed Ragnaros. Um, Ragnaros was a, a very big boss at the time. Our 40-person guild was not very good, uh, but you know we slowly geared up, slowly got enough people to a point where we were able to actually make real attempts. And I think we spent about a month kind of in the neighborhood of, of beating on Ragnaros and making progress, but uh, killing Ragnaros was... Just a really awesome experience, first time it happened. It's, you know, throw your hands up in the air and scream at the top of your lungs. Awesome experience. Well, I think I'm primarily a solo gamer, so the moment that World of Warcraft made me a social gamer, I was very impressed, because uh, my whole family plays it, and we actually have a guild, and we hang out together, and it's a really amazing experience. Well, there was one family member in particular that I just don't see as often anymore, and I really miss that. And in the first year of WoW, we got together online and we played through the Lunar Festival experience, the whole world event together. And there was just that moment when we had shot off all these fireworks and it was like three in the morning, real time. And we found that we had been hanging out for quite a long time and had been talking and chatting and sharing this experience and it felt like more than a game. It felt like we had gone off on a family retreat or something together. <laughs>